Hey guys, Austin, and welcome back to another Minecraft discussion here on the channel today. And today we have an interesting topic to discuss. But before we do that, let's talk about Minecraft War Season 6. If you guys did not know, Minecraft War Season 6 has been underway for a few days now, and all its technical difficulties have been solved. Now you probably ask yourselves, well, how do I install the mods to such the, to, to play on said server? Well, you go and find one of my Minecraft War videos. You scroll down to the description where it says the the mod pack link. You download that mod pack. It should be downloaded in like a .zip file form. And then you uh, take all the mods out of that .zip file, throw them in your other mods folder as long as you have Forge 1.12 installed. And then the IP for the server should also be linked in the description of most of my videos. Now, I'm going through each one daily and editing the descriptions to add in the IP. So, even this video now should have the IP to my Minecraft War server, not to be con confused with my Minecraft community server, which is a completely separate server. Um, and yeah, this Minecraft War series should be lasting all the way until the end of June, possibly the beginning of July, depending on how long it takes. But without further ado, let's get on with today's Minecraft discussion, which is going to be Ore Spawn theme. Today we are going to discuss or spawn is it good is it bad and what has it done correctly and what has it done incorrectly in the days that it has been created now or spawns a, a, a crazy topic to discuss not to mention the fact that i'm well versed in or spawn mythology you know so uh if you guys didn't know first that the or spawn mod is one of the biggest more, most successful mods in my opinion at least in the history of Minecraft in general. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Ore Spawn. A lot of people do like Ore Spawn. It's also been in a lot of mod packs in the past. Hashtag CrazyCraft, for example. But what has made it so successful? Well, first, let's discuss what Minecraft Ore Spawn is. Ore Spawn's an adventure slash uh, creative thinking, I guess, mod where it's not a technical mod like uh, Mechanism or Ender.io. It's based on an adventure where you just go out in your world, you fight bosses, you kill things, etc. Well, Ore Spawn's known for being very overpowered. It was the first mod that dared to add in a weapon that did more than 500 attack damage. And, well, it, it kind of cemented the fact that the creator was willing to go above and beyond just to make sure that his mod stuck out and was as crazy as possible. Well, what it essentially does is adds in about 18 bosses into the world of Minecraft. However, you cannot kill any of the bosses with mere vanilla gear, meaning diamond. You have to work your way up through Amethyst. No, first it goes Emerald, Experience, Amethyst. Well, the Experience is kind of like a side armor set, so we'll say Emerald, Amethyst, Ruby, and then Ultimate. And once you make the Ultimate set, you're meant to go hunting. Now, you could kill the mobs in Amethyst or Ruby also, but... Uh, it's preferred that you keep that you build the ultimate set first and then go and kill all 18 or 19 bosses. Once you do that, you collect a piece of each and every one of them from your journey of killing each one, and then you combine them all together to create a massive sword known as Big Bertha that does 500 attack damage. From there, you go on to kill Mobzilla. Mobzilla being essentially Godzilla of Minecraft. You kill him, and he drops scales, which you use to create a better armor called the Mobzilla set. Then you use that in combination with your sword to fight the most terrifying creature you'll ever know to man known as the king now of course you go to the tier 6 experience dungeon also but uh it's preferred that you fight the king so you fight the king with said set he's gonna wreck you he's probably gonna kill you and then you're like okay now what do i do well then you go to the uh, tier 6 dungeon you get this through fighting th waves and waves of all the bosses you've already killed should be easy with the big bertha sword you then acquire the Royal Guardian set and the Royal Guardian sword. You then go and fight the king. You kill it. He drops one. He drops 200 random items of whatever mod pack you're using. You then, after that, set your sights on the queen. Now, of course, you're going to want her stuff first. So you go to the queen experience, tier 6 experience dungeon. So you go there, fight waves of the bosses again. You find the queen scale set, the queen scale battle axe, and then you go and fight the queen. Of course, the queen kills you because it's currently glitched, where when she kills you, it deletes your inventory, and then you kind of stop. That's why I personally never uh, beat the queen in my or spawn let's plays, because it, uh, well, I attempted it, but the problem is, when the queen kills you with her ability, the mod is glitched currently where it deletes your inventory. Now, that's not every version of the mod. I know 1.6.4 doesn't uh, glitch it like that that Minecraft version, but it, the mod's in 1.7.10, if you guys didn't know, so that current version is glitched and that's a version of course you prefer to play because it has more stuff in it 
I mean, I think that's what everyone would assume. And, like, it's no big deal if you can't kill the queen. Like, all you get out of killing her is just the stuff that you probably already have. So it's really, realistically just a accomplishment factor. However, again, that's, like, how you beat the mod. Now, the mod also adds in, like I said, a ton of ore, a ton of structures, a ton of, like, even stuff like gardening, food. Like, everything you can think of in Minecraft, there's something that they added in from ore spawn. Like, in terms of topics or categories. So, the mod is all around a very good balanced mod in that sense. Not balanced in the sense of, like, it can be compatible with other mods. You can have it in a mod pack, but, like, it stands out very easily. There's no, like... There, there's no, like, uh, you can use this stuff in other things because it's too powerful. You'll one-shot everything. Now, moving on from that, let's talk about the technical side of War Spawn, where it has done good and bad. It has done good in when it was actually active. It was updated constantly. It always had different themes. The last update it had was the uh, Valentine's Day update where it added in the Rose Sword. And I think it did something with the girlfriends also because there's girlfriends and boyfriends in the mod. If you didn't know that you can tame and they can fight by your side. As weird as that sounds. Um, it did something with them. And then after that, the mod just ceased to exist. Everyone was like, it once again ever update. Because this was around the point in time where 1.8 had just come out. And the mod creator did release a statement saying, at the time, I'm not going to update to 1.8 because 1.8 is very complicated. Most modders did that. They realized 1.8 was very hard to code. However, also most modders, when 1.9 came out, or 1.10, or 1.11, or 1.12 even right now that we're on, have updated their mods past that point. Why is Orspawn not? Because honestly, the creator himself has been working on something else. It's called Danger Zone. Essentially, it's his own game, kind of like a spin off version of Minecraft. I tried it personally. I don't really like it because it's basically like Minecraft back in its alpha days, but with Orspawn in it. So it's really weird. Um, personally, if I were him, I would have just stuck with the modding of Orspawn itself, updating and whatnot. Because if Orspawn was at 112 right now, even if he never added anything to it, it would be insane. Um, especially with the new combat. That might have also been a reason why he stopped updating it. But that was the 1.8. That was 1.9 that added the, up, the combat update. So who knows. Also, rumor has it apparently 1.15. Yes, I know it's two versions off. But is getting another combat update. So we might get the return of the old combat. Who knows. But they, do, they did say apparently they have something planned for 1.15 in terms of combat. Or they're already working on it. But that is the question. Does that mean they're done with 1.14? Or are they just going to skip 1.14? Honestly, they could if they wanted to. But it wouldn't make much sense. Because they they've now combined 1.14 with 1.13. Also, s slight side note. Uh, the pre-release versions of 1.13 have begun. So we should be seeing the release of 1.13 sometime this week. If not, early next week. But I'd, I'd venture more to say late this week. Like Thursday or Friday or even Saturday we might get it. Um, and you guys know the day that that happens. If I uh, notice it, we'll say. I will definitely be doing a all-around review of 1.13 that day. If not that day, the next day. But let's get back to Orspawn. So now that we understand all of the stuff that Orspawn has, what it does and what it contributes to, and now that we've understood what the mod creator himself has done with it, let's talk about how future can how the future can um, affect Orspawn or vice versa. So let's say hypothetically Orspawn does update. What will it bring to the table? Well, it'll bring a very like well-rounded adventure style, crazy overpowered mod to the current Minecraft modding list because there's huge mod packs right now for 1.12 that I was even unaware of a few months ago that like have over a hundred mods in it. That's insane. Imagine the return of Orspawn. That would bring so much to the table and what people can do with mod packs and whatnot. Now, the problem is you might ask, well, why can't someone else just take the files from Orspawn and, like, update it themselves other than the original mod creator? Um, so the Orspawn mod, along with some other mods, have a patent on it, so it's illegal to copy the mod. You can get in trouble legally for that. And people have even asked the Orspawn creator, like, hey, can I buy this mod off you? Can I buy the ownership of it because you're not updating? And he has openly said, no, I'm unfortunately not going to sell my product to anyone else. Why he's doing that, I don't know. I get it's like he's making that danger zone mode, game mode, whatever you call it. But, uh, like, 
if you're not going to update the Minecraft mod, you might as well let someone else do it who's willing to do it. But I can understand he probably doesn't want his creation also to get a little bit, like, messed up. Because let's be honest, like, he's done such a good job of it, I can't picture someone else doing the exact same thing or take it in the direction that he was going with it. Um, but that's not to say that, like, someone else couldn't just, like, instead of... Instead of adding new things to it, just update its file to the new version. Like, I'm almost positive if the mod creator wanted to, he could just, like, one day update it to 1.12 and not change anything in it. Just make sure all the, the, uh, all you, all you'd have to do really, see, I don't know much about coding or whatnot, but from what I understand, all you'd have to do is make sure none of the num serial numbers corresponded with any of the current items in Minecraft. And then if he, if they did, he'd have to rewrite one of the, some of the number codes. Other than that, it should be fine, I would think. Because no biomes have changed, really. So it wouldn't be a biome spawn issue. I mean, 1.13 adds more biomes. But uh, in, in terms of updating to 1.12, yeah, not, nothing has changed in terms of like that. The end would be the only exception, I would guess, but, like, the structures that spawn in the end from War Spot could just spawn in that other part of the end also, so I can't see much of an issue there. Um, yeah, other than I really can't think of any issue. The only problem is the AI would be off because all the War Spawn mobs would be operating on the 1.7.10 AI, and currently, as you guys know, a lot of mobs have had their AI updated since 1.7.10, and they're more, way more advanced now, like the skeleton. So, that would be the only issue I would see there. But still, like, it's nothing that couldn't be easily, like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just saying. But, that, that's been my discussion on Minecraft or Spawn. Um, there's honestly nothing else I can think to say about it. Now we will do, if you guys want to comment down below, I could do discussions explaining more in depth or spawn or uh, trying to think of what else, like mods compatible with or spawn. That'd be a good discussion video, like what mods are compatible with or spawn, what mods work well with or spawn. Um, that'd be very good to do like a branch off discussion. But that's going to conclude today's discussion of, or I guess just or spawn in general, the pros and cons about it. Um, overall, I think it's a good mod. It's honestly my top five favorite mods, even top three favorite mods, I'd say. I want to say it's my number one favorite mod, but, like, I don't, I feel like I don't want to just claim my number one these days, just because, like, there's so many cool mods out there. Oh, uh, speaking of mods, before I was setting up this video, I was looking through some mods to review, because I was looking for a specific mod, and I couldn't find it, but I found, like, three mods that were similar, so... There's a few mods coming to the review soon in the coming weeks. We got some more 1.12 mods. We have a 1.10.2 mod to review, actually, believe it or not. Um, and we still have a lot of lucky blocks. That's We're going to have to have a lucky block week soon, guys. It's going to have to happen. But thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, click that like button, show your support, give this video to 10 likes. Also, oh yeah, since we're not having a Minecraft War video, I have to say this. Um, thank you guys so much for your support on the both Minecraft War videos. The... I don't know what the first one's current likes are at, but I know it's above 15. Um, the second video, you guys have it at 22 likes right now. I told you guys to try to get the video to, I think, uh, 20 likes. No, I said get the first one 20 likes. The second one, I said get 15 likes. You guys blew that goal out of the water. I'm super impressed and amazed that you were able to. Um, so, I'm going to test the waters a bit. Guys, try to get this video right now to 12 likes. We'll set 12 likes. And if you guys can pull that off, I don't know what I'll do. But I just want to see if we're able to do it. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to this video. And again, comment down below what you guys want me to discuss next on Minecraft Discussion here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.